Hey guys, Papa Pete back with another special video today. Today I'm going to take a look at my top three favorite cover arts. Now, this is a response video that was originally uh, done by Megadan29. So thanks to Megadan for getting this idea. It's a great idea. It really was fun to go back and look through some different cover arts to see some of my favorites. And it was followed up by CM Retro and JLove81, who did great videos of the same thing. Check out their videos. I'll link them. Maybe here, maybe here. Or all around, I don't know, somewhere. And check out all the videos. They're really fun. They're just short videos like this one's going to be. And it's just fun to look back at what people think about the different bits of cover art. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. You know the old saying, you should never judge a book by its cover? Well, back in the 70s and 80s, before we had the internet, before we really had much wide distribution of magazines, and certainly not timely distribution of magazines, yeah, that's about the only choice you had. You had to judge a book by the cover and try to pick out the best games that way. Remember, I come back from a time when you didn't have the internet when you're looking to search or find your video games. You get to look through catalogs. I can still remember the, the Christmas wish book that came from Sears every year. That was one of your biggest things to go through. And a lot of the reasons you bought games, not only from the catalog, which usually had a fake screenshot, but also was just going into the stores and actually looking at the cases in the shelf. I'd love to be able to go back to the old store that used to be here in our town and they had a big Atari display case and then later an Intellivision display case and you pick which game you want just by sitting there and looking at the cover art on it. It was just that important. Now before I get into the actual games themselves I want to show you something that is really kind of neat. I picked it up about a year and a half ago and frankly I just think it's awesome. You should check it out. Here's my copy of The Art of Atari by Tim Lapatino. I don't know if you've had an opportunity to look at this book. Of course, we all know the Atari cover art. Uh, it's all hand-drawn stuff for the most part. And this book just basically goes through a lot of the different cover art and such and stories behind, uh, I'm not clipping anything, behind some of the things of, those, of that day. And it's really interesting to look back at some of the different games like how much more famous is that than the Missile Command one? You know, I don't want to pick all Atari, or I'd have an awful hard time not just picking my three favorites out of the Atari system. But anyway, really great book, The Art of Atari by Tim Lapatino. I highly recommend it. You probably get it for a pretty good price now on Amazon or maybe find it at your local store. Um, highly recommend it. Pick it up. Game number three. I am going to sort of rate these in order too. So this is game number three. I did a review of this game. This isn't an old style game, but it's, I guess it is to some people, but to me it's not. It's Evil Dead Regeneration for the Xbox. Did a review of this for the uh, Rebel Gaming Club ah, two or three months ago. Uh, check that re review out. Check out that episode. It was a lot of fun making it. And this is just a really, really fun game. Of course, everybody loves the Evil Dead series. And this is a great representation of Sam as evil mini deadite, as well as Ash with the, the boomstick and the chainsaw. And I just really, really like this cover. But then again, I really, really like the game as well. Evil Dead Regeneration. That is number three. Now the next one on my list is a game that I can remember waiting for because we played the actual board game before this ever came out. So we were really anticipating this when it came out and we had nothing really to go by but the cover art that was shown before it was released. And that is Advanced Dungeons and Dragons for the Intellivision. I just love this cover art where it depicts the snake, the dragon, and also the demon. And you're, you're Archer because that's what you are in the game, you're an Archer. Anyway, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons is one of the best cover arts for the Intellivision. Another one, just like the Atari 2600, that had great, great cover art. All hand-drawn, actually artistic works, not photographs. There was no Photoshop back then. They had to do this stuff by hand. And uh, it really made you want to play and made you want to buy and play the game. Before I move on to my favorite cover art of all time, I'm going to give one honorable mention. Now, the reason I'm giving it an honorable mention and maybe not putting it into one of my top three favorites is that it's, 
It's a homebrew game that was produced just last year by a buddy of mine named Jeffrey Wittenhagen. You probably know Jeffrey. You've seen a lot of his, uh, maybe the podcast or some of the books he's done, like the Complete SNES Definitive Edition or the Complete NES, uh, NES Guide. Great, great books. Anyway, last year he put out one called the Black Box Challenge. And I just love this cover. His name's at the top. It's great graphic art, the diagram or the, the drawing itself with all the different black box games in and around him in the pool. Just great cover art. It's not an official release, so I'm not going to count it in my cover art favorites, but it definitely deserves an honorable mention. Good job, Jeff. Okay, now for my absolute favorite cover. Surprise, surprise. What system is it? Yep, I haven't had an Atari yet. Gonna have one Atari. And what's my favorite Atari 2600 game? Adventure. I've loved this cover since it came out when I was about 12 years old and I first got this game. Right to this day, I think it's one of the most iconic covers. Uh, I can remember the, the, the cover art is so good for these Atari games, they eventually went and put it on the cartridges themselves. Remember, it started off, they were all text, but they started putting their cover art onto the cartridges. So there's usually two, two at least at least two different versions for every cartridge for the Atari. Anyway, I always loved the way it depicted the castle, the dragon with the key, with the, the hedge maze, and it just wraps up all the different elements in the game so perfectly, but at the same time, it's just a fun, handmade drawing. Absolutely beautiful. I love that game. Okay, guys, that's it for my three favorite covers. Number one's Adventure. Number two is Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Look at dragons a lot on the cover. And number three is the Evil Dead Regeneration. Just a real fun game with a great cover. Honorable mention, Black Box Challenge. Anyway, guys, that's it. Listen, what are your three favorite covers? Let me know down in the comments. Don't be afraid to make a response video to this one. It's a lot of fun to make these videos, and if you've never tried it, this is a nice, easy one to do. Thanks again to Megadan29, CM Retro, and JLove81 for coming up with the ideas and to do some of these response videos to different little top three items from the video game world, from the retro video game world. And uh, anyway, thanks for a little bit of time with me today. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. Hey, it's your girl, JLove81, and you're watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. What the hell?